Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to compute the tangent of pi over four. Let's work through it. Solution. We'll start by drawing a very powerful triangle. The triangle looks something like this. And this is a right triangle, meaning that this is 90 degrees. This angle here is pi over four, which is also 45 degrees, but I'm going to write everything in radians, pi over four. This is one, one, and this is the square root of two. This triangle together with so ka toa, and this brings a lot of knowledge to the table. Uh, this simple expression means a lot. It means that sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent is opposite over adjacent. It will also give you the reciprocal functions if you go backwards, so it is extremely powerful. In our case, we want tangent, so we have the tangent of pi over four. So it's oa, oa, oa. So here's pi over four, opposite over adjacent, right? So opposite is gonna be one, right? One, this one over here, so opposite over adjacent. So one, so one over one, which is just one. So the tangent of pi over four is equal to one. An easier way to think about this, um, like in practice, is like, you should know what the sine and cosine are of pi over four. So in practice, um, if you had to compute the tangent of pi over four and you didn't wanna go through the whole triangle thing, you could think of it as the sine of pi over four over the cosine of pi over four. This is probably a better way to do it. And then the sine of pi over four is the square root of two over two and cosine of pi over four is the same. So these are worth memorizing because they're the same, it's so easy. And they cancel so you get one, boom. So much, much better, uh, I think, than using the triangle. Um, but I wanted to show the triangle approach in this video. So, you know, in case someone wanted that extra knowledge. I hope it's been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.